All right, welcome to this new lesson where we are going to get uh, the inspection section set up here. So my idea of this was to be fairly simple. Um, we'll create some parallax effect right here um, on these elements right here. So this will move up a little higher and we'll also adjust the height of this element. And then uh, I think we, I'm not, I'm not sure if we, we play around with this part as well. And then we'll just slightly move precision across the screen as we scroll down as well. So we're gonna create a new function for that uh, section specifically. And in that section, I think we're gonna name it uh, inspection section. So let's put this just after animate words. So it's gonna be inspection section. Just so you can see it here, we'll copy that. And we'll save this. And for inspection section, I think this will be pretty much uh, after our animate words function right here. So function. Alrighty. So for our inspection section, we're going to start off by creating a timeline. And this timeline will be specific to inspection section itself. So, so we're going to say const I uh, inspection TL equals GSAP dot timeline. All right, inside of here, at this point, we've seen this pretty much very frequently. So I'm just gonna paste in the scroll trigger right there. Again, uh, it's, it's uh, detailing the section dot uh, inspection class DOM element as the trigger, top, bottom, bottom, top, scrub true. After we have that defined, we're gonna call it. Two will be inspection. Sorry, we have to put a period there. There we go. H2 is the selector. We're gonna do Y negative 100. All right, so the H2 element in this case is come down here, this number 68. So when we scroll down, you could see 68 now is doing a Y of a negative 100 based on the scroll trigger parameters that we set just to give it some interesting movement. And then additionally, we're gonna go ahead and chain another one. We're gonna take something called the ring BG class. We're gonna do a Y of negative 50, so not quite as tall as negative 100, uh, and a height of 300, which will change the physical size of that uh, element. We want this to occur at the same time, so we're gonna use less than. So again, we'll save this, we'll go back. You can see how it scales up and it's moving as well. Alrighty. Then finally, we are gonna use a, just a different GSAP2 call um, to, to modify that marquee where it says uh, precision. So we'll say GSAP.2 marquee, it's a class, so marquee H3. Inside of here, we're gonna say trigger is marquee H3 start is top 80%, end is bottom top. And again, you just have to experiment with these values to see what works best for you. Those, those are what worked best for me. After we have the, oh, I didn't put scroll trigger. Sorry about that, scroll trigger. Got to wrap all this stuff in. And let's put that here. There we go. So. And then inside of here, we're just gonna put X 200. So we're moving it over by essentially 200 pixels. Um, let's see here, I think we gotta do that. I'm hoping I did this correctly. Uh, I think we may have an error, yeah. Um, all right, Gary, get this figured out. Let's, let's get this stuff tabbed in. This happens sometimes, but it's okay. We're gonna move this in. X is I uh, that, that, I think we have to end one more right there. There we go, so that gets rid of all the errors, that ends our function, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and save that and see if this works. It should start moving across the screen, there it is. Great, we're making progress, all right. So now that that is finished, let's go ahead and continue on in the next lesson by focusing on our slider right here.